Hi friends, we're going to be doing a really fun video today, which I think it's gonna be fun anyway. I have here seven different lipsticks from Maybelline. These are the For Me lipsticks from Maybelline that they brought out about a year ago. And basically what the concept is, is that each of these different shades of lipstick should go on every single skin tone. And so it's a pink for me or mauve for me, red for me, ruby for me, that kind of thing, plum for me. So I'm going to be trying these on and letting you know how I feel about that because you guys know that I have a very cool undertone to my skin and I lean very much towards blues and pinks and those kinds of things that have a very bluish undertone. So to get something that is super neutral is kind of intriguing to me because I want to know whether or not this is for real. So I got naked lips right now, but we're going to remedy that really quickly. I'm going to try on each one of these for you. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here as a part of our family. Thank you all so much for spending part of your day with me today. I hope that you do enjoy the video that we're going to be doing, and I hope that it is helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up, everyone. It really does help me a lot if you just take a second and do that. All right, let's get into these Color For Me lipsticks right now. The first one is called Spice For Me. I picked this to be the first one because honestly, you guys, this looks so orange to me, and I'm going to have a really hard time with that because I don't wear an orange color. I don't wear um, brown colors very often. I do like a subtle brown with a nude lip if I do a liner, but we'll see. Okay, there is spice for me, you guys. I do feel like it's a little bit warm for me. My lips are not gonna be perfect because I don't have a liner on and I'm kind of going through this a little bit faster, but I do feel like this is too warm for me. I do feel like it is not one that uh, universally flatters. This is not something that I could rock every day and go out in, but again, they're trying to hit a sweet spot. So I think that it's a pretty color. Love these formulas, you guys. They're so rich and buttery and they are not a matte formula, but they're not a cream, so they're a satin. So they're gonna last a little bit longer, but there is spice for me. All right, the next one is going to be mauve for me. And this is probably the one I'm most curious about because doing a mauve color is hard to do for everyone. So we will see how that goes on. Okay, mauve for me definitely has a warmer undertone than what I normally am used to. So it's not that it's a bad color necessarily, but it's still not quite on that tone that I want to. Now I could wear this one. I would feel comfortable wearing this one, but when I look at it and I'm just, you know, looking at it through the, you know, the light here in the room, I don't feel like it is the most flattering color for me. It does have some yellow undertone in there. So Ma for me, I'm not sure if it's for me, but um, yeah, that's the next one. I think it's a pretty color again, but i um, not sure if it's one that I would grab on the daily. All right, the next one is Fuchsia for me. And honestly, you guys, I think this is the one I'm most worried about trying on because I don't normally wear fuchsia ever. It's not a color that I go for. It's a color that intimidates me because of that bright, bright pink. So let's see how it looks on. Okay, you guys, this one, like I said, huge out of my comfort zone. I am kind of blown away at how bright this is. Um, I think that if you're somebody that loves bright colors, if you have a deeper skin tone than I do, that this would be really pretty on you. But again, it's one of those ones that when you look at me, I feel like that's all you see is my lips. I feel like they come into the frame before anything else on my face does. So this is really bright, pretty color, kind of got a little bit blue undertone to it, but not sure if it's one that I would wear. Let me know in the comment section if, as I try these on, what you guys are thinking about what you might wear and what you might not too. All right, the next three are gonna be ones that really put me to the test. This one is red for me. And this is a beautiful red, you guys. I do think it's gorgeous, but again, I don't wear red. But I think that to try this on is gonna be all kinds of fun. So let's see what Red For Me does for my lips. Okay, Red For Me is bright, you guys. This is actually reminds me of a Marilyn Monroe lip. I think that this is a really beautiful color, but oops, it's down here. Honestly, you guys, I don't think that I could wear this. I love seeing women in red lipstick. 
why is it so hard for me to look at myself and go, okay, that's all right? I guess it's just because I've never really kind of worn red lipstick at all and I've never really gotten used to it. But this is red for me. I think it's pretty. It's definitely a very neutral. It's not super blue based, but I think it's very pretty anyway. All right, next is Ruby for me. Now this one is going to definitely have a blue base to it. I can already tell you, and it's going to lean more towards that side. And actually, look at it. It's really close to the fuchsia. It's really bright like that fuchsia one, but it's very pretty. So let's try on that one and see what we get. I feel like these all are really pushing me out of my comfort zone. And I think this is really a pretty one. I almost think I could get used to this one. I think it's so pretty. Don't judge me for how crooked my lip lines are, you guys. But this is a really gorgeous color. It's very pretty. It's very vibrant, but at the same time, it's not over the top bright for me. Um, maybe if I were to blot it more, I don't know. I just feel like this one might be a good one for me. And by the way, like I said, these are really affordable. So if you guys have been wanting to step outside your comfort zone for under $6 to get a lipstick, I actually feel like these are luxury type lipsticks. I tried a lot of lipsticks with National Lipstick Day. I had just bought a ton of high-end lipsticks. I do feel like Maybelline really checks off a lot of those boxes for a luxury lipstick. So I kind of really like this one. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, this next one is called Ruby for me. It's kind of a dark... Oh, a wine color, a deep dark wine color. So we're going to see about that one. Actually... When I'm looking at it right here, it looks like it has a lot of blue in it. So it's almost like a purplish color. Can you guys see that? Um, like a really bright, vibrant violet purple. Um, so let's try that one on. Okay, I thought this was gonna be a lot darker than it is, you guys. It really is a very pretty lipstick. I do feel like I might need to build this up a little bit more to get the actual color payoff. But honestly, I think it's very, very pretty. So. I know Maybelline lipsticks wear well when you're, you know, you're eating or they co they're coming off. I feel like they wear really well. This one, well, I would question because it's so dark, but um, definitely look at this one if you're somebody that likes these plum lipsticks, but you want something that's just a little bit lighter because I don't feel like this is terribly dark. I feel like if they were going to go for a plum for everybody, they might have just gone one shade a little bit darker, but I do think it's pretty. So let's move on to the last one. All right. The very last one is called pink for me. This is probably the one that I would be most drawn to, that I would wear the most. I think it's a really gorgeous color. Let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, I feel like pink for me is a really good color as far as just being one that I could be comfortable wearing every day, but I also feel like I had a lot of fun with these other colors. As I'm looking at this now after trying on those bright colors, I'm like, maybe I need to try a few more bright colors. But pink for me is a very neutral pink. It's not a warm base. It's not a blue base. It's like right in the middle. So it's like a rose color, but it's a little bit more of a muted rose. And I also feel like it's one of those very mid-tones. So I'm not sure if you're very deep deep skin tone if you'd like wearing this one it would might just get lost but if you have like a medium to very fair like i do you might really like this one i think it's really pretty so that is it for today's video what did you guys think about these lipsticks i think they're very beautiful lipsticks i really do and i also think that they have done a really good job on them and that they have brought about some really beautiful lipsticks that would suit a lot of people and if you're thinking about stepping out and trying other colors like i did have somebody ask me what the best red was and i would I, say that i really enjoyed that ruby for me one as far as the red one goes so there's the colors one more time seven different ones and i hope that you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did have a great day you guys and i love you very much stay safe stay sanitized stay healthy i will catch you all in my next video Bye bye guys <laughs>